Welcome, and thank you for joining today's webinar on DOC appointment scheduling with SAP EWM. During our presentation, we will discuss how DOC appointment scheduling can be used as an extension of yard management to process appointments at the customer yard for inbound and outbound shipments. Next slide, please. Today's speaker is Amrita Desarkar, a senior SAP EWM consultant here at Crypt. Amrita is a seasoned SAP EWM subject matter expert with years of experience in the IT industry. She has successfully led multiple EWM implementation projects in many industries, such as consumer products, chemical, and petroleum. On the next slide, I will go over some quick housekeeping tips. If questions come up during the webinar, please type them into the panel as shown in the example. We'll be addressing these at the end of the presentation. If we run out of time and don't get to your question, we'll be sure to follow up with you after the webinar. On the next slide, I'd like to quickly introduce Crypt for those of you who are less familiar with us. Crypt was established in 2008 and is a leading SAP consulting partner. Although we operate globally, we consider ourselves a boutique consulting firm that lives by our founding principles of innovation, collaboration, and drive. These principles have allowed us to complete over 800,000 SAP consulting hours in various industries. Our service is focused around implementations, upgrades, and customizations for various SAP solutions, including trade, transportation, warehouse, planning, IVP, and HANA. We also offer proprietary solutions, integration services, and work closely with SAP for ramp ups and testing. On the next slide, I'd like to share some of our thought leadership. We strive to be thought leaders in the supply chain ecosystem, and we've accomplished this by authoring books in addition to writing blogs and white papers, which are available on our website. Moving on to the next slide. This is an overview of our proprietary offerings, which complements the SAP suite. I wanted to briefly highlight Crypt Connect located in the middle of the solutions list. This particular solution can be integrated with non-SAP ERP systems, which many people find valuable. Moving on to the next slide. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to work with a variety of companies within the SAP supply chain space, and some of them are highlighted here. And with that, I'll pass it over to Amrita. Thank you, Rachel. Hello, everyone. I'm Amrita. I have been working in EWM for the past six years, and I am with Crypt for the past six months. Today, we are going to discuss about the modern day dock in warehouses, the various issues that workers face while working in these docks, and how SAP can help smooth their operations. Today, our agenda for this webinar is as follows. Challenges in the modern dock, integration of DAS, with EWM, yard management using DAS, and cost savings. This might be a very common view uh, in front of our warehouses. The trucks that are queued up, the drivers are not aware of what activities they need to perform, or in which gate they need to check in, or at which time they should be checking in. So they have just queued up waiting for the instructions to come from the warehouse operatives. And imagine this happening when the warehouse is in front of a main road or somewhere closer to the main road. The trucks are queued up and this may definitely affect traffic. Another common view we can have is the congestion at the docking stations inside the warehouse complex. The trucks are standing and waiting in the parking lot or waiting for the activities to be performed the supervisor or the warehouse manager is completely confused as to which truck should be taken forward first, which customer delivery should be fulfilled first, and what are the activities that need to be performed. The objective of this session would be to understand and get an overview of the challenges with dock management, an understanding of EWM DAS functionality, an understanding on automatic TU creation, yard management with DAS, an understanding on status set to arrival and departure at checkpoint, overall savings using the above features in EWM. Let us look at some of the challenges that warehouse operatives face in the yard. Visibility of truck arrival and departure. 
the warehouse supervisor sitting in his office it becomes difficult for him to see which truck is coming through the gate or even if they have come in yet visibility of loading and unloading doors similarly he cannot keep track which warehouse door is empty so that the truck can come and dock there the operatives who are outside in the warehouse yard also cannot always keep track which truck should go where or even the fact whether already another operator is keeping track of the said truck and which door it should go to huge pile up of trucks the truck driver on the other hand has no idea where to take his truck and waiting for instructions in the parking lot it may be several minutes or good part of an hour before the warehouse operatives and the driver coordinate and can finally take the truck to the designated door and start loading or unloading this leads to increased waiting time leading to increased load and unload time if there are many trucks coming in all together they would lead lead to congestion in the parking lot itself this would add delay on its own this chaos and lack of planning definitely leads to decrease in the overall efficiency of the warehouse as a whole plus the waiting time of the truck adds to the demerge costs imagine a scenario in the outbound process on an average day the floor area is full of pallets customer orders are waiting to be packaged the ones that are packed now sit on the floor it's too crowded the demarcation lines for different routes disappear there are high chances that the goods that have been checked migrate from one route to another this is due to the lack of proper planning and there comes in dock appointment scheduling once there is a fixed time slot the warehouse can launch their picking according to daily schedule of routing trucks and let's think of an average day in the inbound process floor is again completely covered by goods lot of trucks have come in together stack pallets are hard to identify some extra forklift truck operators need to be assigned but at the last moment approval request from the cfo is not coming warehouse manager decides to store these pallets in a makeshift zone which is nearby now there has to be a separate planning altogether to move these packages to their right places if there was proper planning the times were fixed floor area could have been cleared up personnel could have been made available extra forklifts could have been made available people would be ready to address this sap has come up with dock appointment solution let us take a look at the process flow that broadly happens for warehouses this is basically showing the process in case of an inbound movement an appointment is created in the system for the truck this sets a specific date and time slot in which the truck would come to the warehouse this appointment can be created by the vendor the transport company or the carrier or even the warehouse operatives this of course gives the warehouse operative the opportunity to plan ahead for the movement of the trucks the next step begins when the truck physically arrives at the warehouse the truck then goes ahead and checks in into the parking lot after checking in through the warehouse complex gate with the help of das it is already planned ahead the operatives are ready and already know to which warehouse door the truck needs to be redirected therefore the truck does not need to wait in the parking lot unloading to the warehouse can start immediately then the truck is free to leave the warehouse in the meantime put away of goods can be done inside the warehouse now let us see how the document flow happens in sap as you can see the white color indicates the manual step and the orange color indicates the automatic step made by the system as we can see these are the two sap separate systems sap dock appointment scheduling and sap ewm these systems are always synced together sap has made the architecture in such a way that these systems are always in sync the appointment can be manually created in the dock appointment scheduling then when the physically the truck arrives at the checkpoint the status arrived at checkpoint is set this automatically creates a tu activity for the truck and sets the status arrival at checkpoint in sap ewm now in ewm the deliveries can be assigned to the tu which is the truck the tu is then assigned to a door 
a warehouse door which is free and the status of the document is set to arrival at the door this in turn updates the status to arrive at dock for the appointment document in the dock appointment scheduling system next manual step would be loading or unloading the tu after that when that is finished the truck is ready to move out from the warehouse door and the status is set to departure from door this again updates the dis system with status departed from dock next manual activity would be setting the status departure from checkpoint this happens physically when the truck has left the warehouse complex altogether and this in turn updates the status departed from checkpoint in the next slide we will try to understand how to create an appointment in the sap system itself first we need to understand a few of the important points uh, to remember while creating an appointment a loading point a loading point can be described as a group of warehouse docks with similar characteristics in the sap system each loading point will be defined will have a defined time slot and a number range for the appointment number the system links each loading point to a supply chain unit with the same name the supply chain unit contains additional information about the loading point such as the address and geographical information when a loading point is created the system automatically creates a supply chain unit for the loading point the system uses the data we enter in the loading point in the supply chain unit specific fields such as address time zone factory calendar and other such we can create a loading point for a supply chain unit that already exists the supply chain unit must have the business attribute of a loading point the system the sap system uses supply chain units to create the actual connection between the sap ewm in the integrated scenario with the das next comes the reference document number reference document number is a reference for which the appointment is being created it is nothing but another document number for which the activities are need to be performed the appointment direction appointment direction is nothing but it just specifies whether the uh, movement is going to be inbound or an outbound we need to remember the docking location which represents the sap ewm warehouse in the das system as we were mentioning reference documents these can be added in the below section the types of reference documents are as shown in the particular list we generally use a purchase order for inbound scenarios next comes the carrier carrier is nothing but the transportation details the transportation uh, company name that we need to assign who is going to carry the cargo next we will see how this look like how the appointment looks like after we have saved it we can see the tab that is available for dock appointment scheduling we click on that and then we create an appointment textual we provide the loading point docking location appointment direction what is important to remember is we can specify the time slots for each loading point so maybe a loading point requires a gap of 30 minutes or 45 minutes that interval can be specified for each loading point and according to that interval the time slots are displayed in this particular window when creating an appointment we can select either of them and create the appointment after this we see how the processing of the appointment happens this is all happening in the das system we process the appointments when the truck physically comes to the warehouse we click on process appointments and then we change the status to arrived at checkpoint that is the truck is physically arrived at the gate of the warehouse complex as we can see this automatically creates a sync with the ewm system the appointment number reflects in the ewm system the tu is automatically created for the truck and then the door is assigned manually to the transportation unit when the truck has come in and the rest of the activities can start we can see how the inbound delivery has is being processed now the goods can be received 
unloading obviously has happened before and all the statuses are other statuses are set to completed as and when the activities are completed inside the warehouse when all the activities have happened in the ewm system that sends a signal to the das system and we can see how the statuses are changed for the das system after the truck has left the checkpoint left the warehouse complex the status can be changed to departed from checkpoint we can see similar activity that has to be done in the ewm system so then we can compare how the ewm system and the das system together is helping us with the scheduling and the planning ewm has provided us with a monitor this monitor can be used to uh, monitor the statuses that the truck has gone through and there is a complete list of all the activities that have been performed for that particular truck so thus we can see that when das is used along with ewm there is a lot of times that can be saved and obviously that leads to saving money first is truck visibility less expense on transportation there will be no no queues or at least less queues and since the waiting times are reduced the demerge costs can be reduced easier order fulfillment and better customer commitment load and unloading doors are visible wait times are reduced so when a delivery is promised to a customer that will not be delayed efficient yard management and efficiency of the yard executives with proper planning and proper scheduling the congestions are reduced and that definitely leads to the efficiency of the yard operatives the workforce represents approximately 45% of the operational costs of a warehouse and there is generally a great pressure on reducing these costs let us also not forget the safety of the warehouse operatives on the average costs in the case of accidents let's not forget the slips trips and falls almost 20% of the injury claims are due to slips trips and falls in the warehouse or the yard area this happen more when the operatives are in a hurry to load or unload when there are too many trucks standing in the yard for the activities to be finished incidents have increased of operatives being struck or hit by trucks and people being trapped in between truck and loading dock all these casualties can be prevented with a little bit of scheduling a little bit of planning ahead and sap das and ewm helps us precisely to do just that thank you back to you rachel <clears throat> thank you amrita um it looks like we've had some questions that have come in um so the first question uh is it always necessary to use das with ewm no it is not DAS is a standalone product that SAP offers us, which means DAS can be used separately with other legacy systems for scheduling. But it is always preferable to use it with EWM because EWM manages warehouse activities very well, and it is one of the best warehouse management systems that are available in the market. So when DAS is combined with EWM, they both make life much easier. so it's preferably uh, it's preferred that they are used together but das can work uh, separately as well thank you use of the reference document number in appointment uh the reference document is uh, nothing but it's it's mostly the connection between the ewm and the da system so when we are creating an appointment it is important to know uh, for what we are creating the appointment reference document is just that it helps us identify for what activities are going to be performed and for which document or for for which uh, customer fulfillment we need to use that particular appointment uh, that is why the reference document is important in an appointment and how do i monitor truck arrival trucks can be uh, truck arrivals can be monitored in two ways actually there are two monitors here at our disposal first is the ewm monitor ewm monitor we have the tu activities that can be uh, tracked 
And DS also has a monitor where we can track as per uh, referring back to the appointment. Plus, there are always options of creating uh, custom nodes or you know custom uh, reports for us to monitor in EWM or in DS. So it depends on the business flow, basically. Whatever uh, reports they want, it can be done. Great. Um, can a carrier or vendor create an appointment directly? Yes, appointment can be created by both of them. The only requirement that SFE has for them to be able to create appointments is they need to be created as business partners in the system and they need to have access for these particular transaction, which is mostly the action of the security teams. If these two things are available and it's basically uh, depending on uh, how the business flow happens or what kind of privileges uh, the business wants to uh, give uh, its partners. Um, so yeah, they can create SAP has provided that uh, option. Awesome. Um, can appointment details be seen on the EWM or RF UI? Um, as such, there are no available uh, options or available transactions to view in the RF UI, but always we can always go ahead and create custom ones um, depending on how, uh, what are the details that uh, people want to see and how they want to perform the operations. Yeah, it can be customized. It's not readily available yet, but it can be customized. Okay, thank you, Amrita. Um, if we didn't get to your question, we will be sure to follow up with you after this webinar. Uh, we will also be sending out the slides to everyone in the next couple of days, so keep an eye out for them. Thank you everyone for joining and we'll see you next time.